Hi, everybody. This is your captain speaking. I should like to say a little bit about the contact from a neat collar on the skin of a dog. For example, this is the new chameleon, which has a special design that fits very nice around the neck of the dog. At the inside, you see little islands which have a different load. In this case, it's a black island and this is a red island. And electricity always go from negative to positive, from negative to positive, and on the other side, from negative to positive. What you must understand is that you can have the best e color of the world if your contact points don't make contact with the skin of a dog, the stimulation you try to apply to the dog will never be felt by the dog. And that's why a lot of people think that their dog is stubborn and does not feel the electricity. And that's why they go slowly higher and higher and higher until there is enough energy that jumps over the dead fur on the skin of a dog and that's what we always call the involuntary overstim. The involuntary overstim is what a lot of people do have when they train with the e collar That's why this chameleon, which is a special design body-wise, but also at the inside it has special feature electronically. Electronically it will, when you switch the color on, automatically goes for two minutes in what we call check contact mode. What is check contact mode? This is a magnetic key and this is the point where we switch on the e collar now the e collar is switched on now i put must put on my glasses because do you see the fast blinking lights that goes around okay so you see it like that i come closer the fast blinking light that goes around okay now i will touch one contact point what you see there, still the light goes fast around. I touch the other contact point and the color tells you by flashing every two seconds, hey, we have contact now, now we can work. I take one finger away, what tells the color, no contact. The same will happen at the other side of the e-color. The other side, which is this one, I go a little bit further. I tap, I contact one finger. You see here, light still flashes very fast. I make a second finger contact and now the color tells you we have contact with the skin. Yes, sir, we can work on the dog without having the accidental overstim by thinking that the dog is stubborn. The nice thing about the chameleon is that we have contact points there, there, and there, and there. Now, we start this. Imagine we have four contact points. What do we see? It tells you contact. I take one finger away, still contact, by flashing every two seconds. One finger away, still contact. One finger away, still contact. One finger away, still contact. Two fingers 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 away, still contact. Contact. And now I take three contact points away. One, two, and three. And what you see, it tells you no contact. Contact, no contact. All the fingers, 
contact. One finger, no contact. This color is unique in the world. It will tell you contact or not contact. And of course, to make this happening, what happens that from point A to point B, there will be a very light electronic stim that f measures the resistance of the skin. The stim that we use to do that is 30% of level one, which by thousand dogs will maybe will be felt by one dog. Question is, is this stim has a meaning for the dog? So it's so low that 999% of the dogs will not feel it. And what you must understand is, is that we need to do that to measure the resistance and the changing resistance of the skin. This color measures 20 times per second the continuous changing resistance of the skin and will adapt the output so that the dog has the same sensation. Thanks, see you next time.